Okay, so Raya's prompt for today was drawing a flower, so we will give that a go. So let's get a dark color for our pencil. Oh, find a sketching pencil. Okay, so if we sketch flower. So again, uh, we'll make that a bit more see-through. So I'll go into the layers and I will double tap on the word layer one, slide my opacity so it's pretty faint. Touch out of that by touching a brush. Then, okay, so today I might change the background color. So if I touch on the background color layer, it will let me pick a color. So if I pick a sky kind of bluish color, go with that okay and then might try and do something a bit more paintery today so if i pick another layer or create a new layer to paint my flower on then if i pick a painting brush hmm, or maybe an artistic brush try that leatherwood one if we pick a yellowy color make it like a sunflower Give that a go. Oh, that's not too bad. Make that a bit bigger. A bit big. Uh, might be a little bit big. Okay, and anything that's too messy, I can always rub out some little bits here and there just to tidy it up if I wanted to. Then I want to fill in that middle bit of the flower. So if I pick a dark brown color, maybe pick a different brush. Oh gosh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's try a charcoal. Let's see what willow charcoal does. Oh, okay, that's a bit big. Shrink that down. Ah, yeah, that'll do. Okay, and I might make that a bit smaller again and pick an even darker color. Just shade around there. Okay, and then I want to do the stem but I might want to have the stem almost behind the flower a bit. So what I could do for that, so if I go back into the layers, if I create another layer, and if I press and hold with one finger on where it says layer three, I'll oh, try again, it will now let me drag that somewhere else in the list. So I'll drag that behind layer two. I will pick a green color for coloring in the stem. Let's try a different brush again. Let's try maybe one of the organic ones. Uh, let's see what hemp is like. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so if I make that smaller. And now because I'm working behind the flower head layer, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to go over the top of it. I can sketch in behind it. And that won't matter. So if we do our stem. And if I pick a dark color, make it tiny, do some shading. Okay, and then let's try and make this picture a bit more interesting. So what I might do is let's add some clouds to the sky. So if I create another new layer, and I want this one to be at the back behind 
on top of my background color, but behind everything else. So if I press and hold on layer one, or layer four, sorry, not layer one, drag it down so it'll be right at the back. And then if I pick a light color for my clouds and go into, I think I finally found clouds. Was it in organic? No, was it in water? No, it's in one of them. Oh, gosh. Where was it? Rainforest, no. Hmm. Artistic, no. Textures, no. Is it elements, maybe? Yeah, elements. Okay, elements has clouds in it. So if we pick clouds. And if I make sure I'm on the right layer, this empty layer above the background color. And if I start drawing some clouds up here in the sky, where the clouds would be, I imagine. Okay. And if I suddenly decide that all those clouds are a bit sharp or whatever because they're way up in the sky, what you can do to a layer is Instead of having to smudge everything, you can blur it a bit. And what you can do to do that is, I think it's the little magic wandy symbol up here. Let's see, yep. And you can pick one of the blurs in the list. So if I pick Gaussian blur, it'll give me an option to do that to the whole layer or to use my pencil to blur things. So if I choose the whole layer option, and then it's got a slider. It says at the top, Gaussian blur, slide to adjust. So if I touch the screen and start sliding to the right, It'll start blurring it more and more and more and more and more. Or if that's too much, I can drag back the other way and blur it a bit less. So I'm quite happy with that. So I'll touch on the pencil or the brush list again to make sure that I'm done with that. Then what else could I do? I might want to have more than one flower, but be too lazy to draw lots of flowers. So what I can do, let's see. Okay, at the moment, we've got a problem because my flower head and my flower stem are on two different layers. So you could either group the layers together, which is a bit fiddly, or if I'm pretty happy that that's definitely my flower now and that's how I want it to be, if I touch on my flower head layer, it'll give me some layer options pop out over here on the left. And if I choose merge down, or maybe combine down, we'll try merge down, it'll basically squash this one down onto the layer underneath it. And now these two things are on the same layer. The flower head and the flower stem are now one layer. Okay, so if I wanted to then duplicate that, if I slide my finger on the word layer 3, if I touch it and slide my finger towards the left of the screen, it gives me some options for that layer. So what I want to do is choose duplicate for this, so it just makes an exact copy of the same layer above it. So then, now I have two of my flower. So what I might want to do is move this copy of the flower, maybe make it bigger or smaller. So, over here, on the top left, if I push the little white arrow one, this one, it'll automatically select everything that's visible on that layer. And you can adjust that if you want to, but that's, that's what I want to do at the moment. So then if I touch in the middle of that selection on the flower, I can now move it around, drag it where I want it to go. So if I move it sort of over this way a bit, let me zoom out a bit so you can see what I mean. And now I want to maybe, if it's going to be further away from us in the picture, if you grab one of the, any of the corners of this marching ants kind of selection box and drag it, you can make that bigger or smaller. So I'm going to drag that one, make it a bit smaller. Again, touch in the middle of it to move it a bit further away. And if I want to, you can use these grabby handles, the sticky uddy green bit at the top of the selection. If you touch on that and turn it, you can rotate it. So I'll do that a bit, maybe move it around a little bit more. Okay, and when I'm happy, I will again just touch the brush or something like that, the brush menu to say, okay, I'm done. That's how I want it to be. Okay, I might do the same thing again, all over again. So if I go into my layers list, go to my first flower, drag to, oh, See, touch, drag to the left, and I want to duplicate it again. And I will go over and touch my arrow, 
and this time I will move this one over to this side and I might make it really big if it's going to be closer to us in the screen rotate it a bit sticking out that way maybe a bit bigger again okay and then oh, if we wanted to play around maybe with how they look in terms of the depth of field maybe so if we the big one that's nearest the screen I think I've messed up and done that to one of the copies so if I move that up in the list of layers you can name your layers so it gets a bit less confusing but you can also just turn them off and on to know which is on what layer okay so on this layer if I again go into the magic wand menu and pick Gaussian blur and choose layer and then if I start sliding to the right I can make that flower blurry and I'm happy with that and then I might pick the flower in the background let me figure out which one that is okay so it's that one so again I will go to the magic wand thing Gaussian blur layer drag that across so that one's a bit blurry so it looks like we're now focusing the camera or whatever on this middle flower right in the middle here um, what else could we add if I go to that middle flower layer and maybe pick a dark green again maybe we could add a bit of grass so let's go for something organic let's try sword grass hey Olive okay and maybe if we do some grass and again where I said you could blur with a, a pencil tool I might do that a bit on this so if I go up to the magic wand and choose Gaussian blur and choose pencil this time I can start blurring just some of it make it a little bit more out of focus so I might do that there and there okay and again just touch on my brush I think when I'm finished or no maybe not touch on the smudge how do I stop that <laughs> um, as you can see I'm still figuring things out for myself maybe if I turn yeah okay so I had to tap back on the magic wand symbol to make that tool turn off okay and then if I want to maybe just make the picture so it's not got all this stuff at the bottom that looks all a bit ugly you can then go into the wrench symbol on the top left and there'll be this option at the top that says crop and resize if I touch that it frames the whole picture and you can grab the, the sides or the top or the bottom or the corners and drag what's going to be in the picture from now on so I'm going to bring it in a bit to be like what's there and when I'm happy I will touch done in the top right and it says cropping and that is now what you see in the picture so I will zoom that back out a bit and yeah i'm pretty happy with that one so i will add that one to the gallery um hopefully that one wasn't too confusing but i just wanted to show you some new things besides just the same drawing -y things over and over again uh yeah all right i'll post that and i'll talk to you later all right let me come out of here